Why so sad, princess? Your tears would draw pity from a stone. Ah, you callous toad! I'm weeping for my golden ball. It's fallen into this deep, dark well. Lamentable loss. I'm a frog, by the way. How might I help? Fetch it for me. I'll give you money. No. I'll give you dead flies or maggots or whatever. Anything. If you promise to love me, let me sit at your table, eat off your plate, and sleep in your bed. I'll fetch your golden ball. I promise come to dinner soon. Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, bit, bit. Ah, uh, see you at dinner. My best evening clothes are damp. Hope that's not a problem. I'm here, my man, to dine with the princess at her invitation. If you'd like to keep your job and live to perform it another day, let me in. Without further ado. My friend, thanks for rescuing the golden ball. Without it, the princess would be desolate, inconsolable. What further may we do for you? No, no, your majesties. The princess and I have an arrangement. Nothing special required. I'm fine. No problem. I haven't had a decent meal in donkey's years, but no, I'll just nibble a morsel or two. Lift me up, will you, dear? Hmm? Must you come so close? You smell like the swamp. My eau de toilette is much admired. Push your plate toward me, sweetness, so I may share your food. Well, princess, I'm tired. Let's go to bed. Once you get used to the texture, they're not so bad. Cool and slimy makes for a nice change. Hey, what are you doing? That's not what... Hey, brute! You're human. And full size now. How nice. Yes, I am a king. A witch put a spell on me and made me a frog. Now you have lifted the curse. Come with me to my kingdom. Okay, sounds good. If you've said your goodbyes, we should be off. My subjects anxiously await our return. Really? I wouldn't have thought they even knew about me. What? I'll retrieve your ball, you willful waif. But not for nothing. Do it then and name your price. But I have only myself to give. That might be enough. Brush your teeth while I'm gone. And have a wash. We'll eat together tonight, then? P.U., are you fond of frogs' legs? Ah, everyone settled in nicely. Decent vintage of fly larva? Oh, yes. May was a good month, and you, princess, say hello to my great-uncle Fester. He's messing in your left ear, and that's Pete, my third cousin twice removed, down your dress. I'm... I'm ill. I need solitary confinement. For several days. Nonsense, princess. I'll join you upstairs shortly. I'll just lead our guests out. Or into some boiling water. Never liked that branch of the family. Ew, warts. Yeah, baby, I'm a toad, so what? Only a fisherman would think you a prize catch. Well, um, uh, I should say something clever, but, um, I can't think of anything. Heh. <laughs> This'll do. Ew. You're a human, sort of. And still alive. And you still look like a halibut, but I'll take you anyway. Well, better you than no one. Not much I wouldn't do to leave this place. Oh, I can see your kingdom from my house. Jack, dear, we've sold everything except Milky White. Now she must go, so we might buy a nice piece of cheese for you. I'll take you to market and get a fair price. Where are you off to with that lovely cowboy? I'm going to sell her at the market. 
I can offer you five magic beans for her and save you the walk. Plant them and by morning they'll grow right up to the sky. Really? Mother, I've made an extraordinary bargain. Tell all my treasure. I got these magic beans. Oh, my Jack, whatever shall we do? We have nothing for supper. Let's go to bed. Just like the stranger said. I wonder what's up there. Oh, Jack, don't climb. You'll fall and break your neck, and I'll be left all alone in the world. <laughs> I've climbed all day, so I must be going somewhere. There's sure to be food in such a big place. Ooh, you best come inside, boy. It's dangerous for you out here. Oh, surely not, missus. It looks very peaceful. Mm, give me another piece of pie. I'm so hungry, I could eat an ox. And tell whoever is making that noise to hush. I'll want a nap soon. That's my husband, Blunderbore. He feeds on human flesh and would find you a tasty morsel. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of a human. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Oh, nonsense, dear. You smell the scraps of that tyke you enjoyed last night. Have a wash and tidy up. Wait, he always has a doze after eating. You seem very like the boy who stole our gold. Wasn't me, missus. My brother, perhaps. A very naughty boy. Might I have a bite to eat? Oh, all right. But if you don't hide immediately, you'll be on the menu. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of a human. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. No, dear, I'm braising an ox. Sit down. How about a nice barrel of beer? Bring me my hen and my harp. Now go to bed. Lay. Sing. Master, master, save me. Stop. Thief. I'll trick you by your smell, you beauty stinker. I'll squash you like a dung beetle and feed you to my goats. I wish I'd cut off your ugly snout, you overgrown ape. Mother, quick, bring me an axe. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the blood of a human. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Jack, you useless lout. Go sell the cow, let's be starved. <laughs> Mm, do I have to do everything? I was just about to take a nap. Where are you going with that flea-bitten, flat uttered bag of bones, boy? I'm going to sell her at the market. Gee, she'll never make it half that far. Give me one gold piece and I'll take her off your hands. I have no money. You drive a very hard bargain, my son. What's that? I'll give you these coloured beans. They'll bring you lasting good fortune. Really? Excellent. The profit from Milky White wouldn't last a month. I've made a good deal, I think. Anything less, Jack, and we must throw ourselves down the well. You first. I got these magic beans. Oh, Jack, what have you done? <laughs> How could you be such a dolt? Such an idiot! A cow gone for a bunch of coloured beans! <laughs> you stupid stupid swine! <sighs> We've got nothing to eat but lard and chicken droppings. Huge beanstalk must be other words for good fortune. We are saved. A monstrous bean will be born. We can eat for a year. God, Whew. climbing's like work. I'm hungry. There must be food round here that needs people to eat it. Mm. Um. Aren't you a plump, comely and well-formed creature? No, Mum. My name is Jack. 
Come inside, boy. I don't think you've the wit to survive on your own. If you say so, I'm perishing from hunger. Oh, give me another piece of pie. I'm Bee so hungry I could eat an bo ox. Bum. And tell whoever's making that noise Bee to hush. I want a nap soon. Bum. Your manners compare unfavourably to a pig. But it won't taste any the worse for it. Perhaps I should serve you to Blunderbore as an appetizer. No, I'll save you for myself. <laughs> Fee fi fo fum! I smell the blood of a human. Be he live or be he dead, I'll grind his bones and pop his head. Wrong again, Blunderbore. That's the third time this week. Leave now, and you'll be meat for his hounds. You miserable. Puny rogue! You stole my husband's gold, and I took a fearsome beating! Wasn't me, missus. My brother, perhaps. A very naughty boy. Might have come in for a bite to eat. Do you take me for an idiot, boy? Blunderbore's at table now, and will be grateful to eat you for dessert. You're done for. Might I have a last request, Mum? A cool drink of water? I suppose it won't hurt for you to be a bit juicy. Bring more beer, woman! Be right there, dear! About time, too. I am what nature made me, but you born a man or a cockroach! A thousand curses on your kith and ken! May your generation be the last to pollute the earth! I curse you too, you big, mean, ugly, bad giant! Mother, quick, bring me an axe. I can't walk, Jack. 老头子，手昂快点儿，不就是去魏国效个力，从个军吗？你家人在这儿，不要叫我亮出刀子来。呃，公差大爷，你做做好心，我已经被你们拉去打过两次仗了。你看我，孩子们又小。我儿子才八岁，木兰也才十三。你家里有什么人干我什么事儿？再说，穷人家的孩子早当家，我只管征购兵，数够人头。总之，你必须遵行对国家的义务。但是，但是我,我的孩子们，爹，不要担心我们。关爷，你放心，我爹他定当领旨，明晨向你处报道。这把嘛，我敢肯定，好工就一定是好工。不过你妈这个价钱也总得让我试一试吧。应该应该，来，让我示范，要拿好准头。第一，搭建的动作要干脆利落；第二，拉弓的动作要流畅。一箭头，瞄准目标，轻轻一放，箭就射出了。啊，原来就是这样。老板，你将来如果不卖武器了，不妨考虑改行做个教头。信我吧，小军爷。一个铁锤打下来，管你有多么精良的武器，多好的战友，都不及我的这顶头盔顶用。来，跟你的新铁哥们儿打声招呼。喏、哦，兄弟们，你好，跟我来吧，我还要找人买马去。哎，你头盔不付钱呢？安啦，你都说了，头盔跟我是铁哥们儿，怎么会跟我讲钱？这马膘肥体壮，血统正统。堪称马中的贵族，骏马中的典范。总之，我叫他两个字：好马。在下一穷二白，身无余钱，堪称军中的平民，部队的叫花。总之，如果你能把这马鞍、辔头和马鞭都搭上，我叫你两个字：干爹。苦苦苦啊！苦我人马一大堆，吃吃干鸭子，谁能给我弄条船？况我小老婆给你都划算。将军莫用烦恼，属下知道河道有一潜水之处，可容我军安然求渡。你是，你就是民族英雄花兄弟。眼见军营就在前方，却有顽石挡我去路，莫非是天亡我也？将军，属下斗胆进言，他山之石可以攻玉。其实这办法，想必将军大人已想到了。你的创意思维真是不错，花兄弟，而且说话做人也很小心谨慎。花兄弟，你真不是盖的，还有东西是你做不来的吗？
，我除了吐西瓜壶不能吐到五丈开外，其他伎俩，将军大概也难不倒属下。能人就是能人，本官还有什么放心不下的？花兄弟，敌军猛将如云，我们要赢这场战争，只怕要与他们全部埋身肉搏。将军，属下等待此战已久。此次作战，定当奋勇杀敌，有去无回，有生无死。不成功，变成人。只是此战，敌军可汗亲征，将军还需小心。李将军，手下最勇敢、最得力的战士，竟然是女子，连李将军都吃了一惊。木兰，你想要什么赏赐？是高官厚禄，还是白花花的赏银？木兰不要功名利禄，只愿回家做个平凡女子。如皇上能赐千里马一匹，送木兰回故乡，木兰当感恩戴德，铭记在心。转造。父亲如果出战，无疑就是死路一条。我只有带他从军，要和一大群男人打仗吃饭，还要同眠同宿。你怎可能与他们生活？秘密却不被拆穿。士兵都是男人中的男人，都有自己的盲点，只看到他们要看到的东西，看不到预期之外的事物。而且他们上茅厕时，从来都目不斜视，永远不瞥第二个人呢。没商量，所有十五至六十岁的男丁都得参战。这把嘛，我敢肯定。好工就一定是好工，不过你妈这个价钱也总得让我试一试吧。这国难当前，难道还要我付款来给你爷爷一套上好的盔甲和坚固的头盔？这般士兵的牛黄马腻到了你手里，还能有这等妙用？好点子，好点子！喂，花裤子，你过来点我要看清楚你演的剧意。没商量，所有十五至六十岁的男丁都得参战。你们要么上战场，要么现在就收我一剑。我父亲脚跛了，我弟弟年纪小，我来去。你块头还真不小，应该没问题。来吧，我们到市场买点装备。可小伙子，你怎么了？堂堂男子汉，走路扭扭捏捏的，像个娘们儿。挺起胸膛来，步步宽一点。喂，金肉怪，要买武器吗？无耻的军火商人，我要那把弓。客官，虽然你屁股比熊猫还大，眼光却不错。你要怎样付款呢？这国难当前，难道还要我付款？为表明你的爱国之心，就把这把弓代表你为国捐躯吧。哟，大猩猩，老子这里太阳猛，正给晒得要命，正好借你巨大的身影撑撑凉。你这心肠歹毒的吸血鬼！来给你爷爷一套上好的盔甲和坚固的头盔，要套得上你硕大的头颅，只怕咱们得要用上浴盆或马桶。这倒不妨，你虽然舌头鼠目，不过你愿意给我扛马桶，你爷爷也不好意思推却。好汉配骏马，赖汉配瘦马，怎么就没有适合我的马？我要比这些更强壮的。以你的块头，只怕也只有长毛象才能付得起你。不过我手头上没有这样的货色，你将就用这只吧。本将军还从来没有搭过这样容易的桥呢。好点子，好点子！将军，赶紧过河为妙。这鱼臭气冲天，这士兵的气味也是不敢恭维。是不是本将军多心？怎么这些石头看上去那么像牛魔王和铁扇公主？眼下连站都站不稳，当务之急只怕是要想想怎么不被炸成红烧乳猪。与匈奴大战在即，我们应在此驻扎，训练新军，又要训练他们战阵部署、战场调动、确立战场。在这个火炉多待一刻，都令我如坐针毡，我热得快要抹脖子。你要我帮忙的话，我们马上离开。那些匈奴蛮子军官个个杀气腾腾，本来本将军也不怕他们，但我现在受伤起了泡，剑都拿不稳。哦哟，我眼睛也不好，长得真眼，而且而且，够了，将军，你身体不好，就省点气吧，我自会对付他们。我最恨匈奴狗子了。喂，花裤子，你过来点喂，狗贼子。你要好好洗洗内裤吗？
，伟大的可汗呐、啊！你平时如果有烧香拜佛，现在可派得上用场了，因为你快要亲自去见他。”莫冷爱卿，朕听说，李将军说，说你在征途上帮了他不少。嗯、啊，朕说你，你也做，做到朕的怀里，给朕。爹，我这辈子是受够了男人了，又脏又臭。打起仗来就窝囊，呕心的要命。他们总有些用处吧？我是看不见，他们那小小的脑子里好像就只有一件事。我拼死拼活的打败那些匈奴蛮子，不是为了回来做那个臭男人的黄脸婆，替些顽劣的臭小子洗衣煮饭的。Pinocchio, come play with my pet termites. Is that stump your mother? I smell rotten wood. You stinkhead smell of pigs and old cheese. I'd kick your butts if my feet worked better. Don't embarrass your father, Pinocchio. Be a good lad. Go to school. Shut up, Cricket, or I'll squash you like a、uh, bug. I want adventure. My school book was worth something. Father just didn't know what. Pinocchio, stay away from those hungry creatures. They are up to no good. They're not related to beavers, are they? Or termites? They look friendly enough. Hello, boy. Perhaps you'd like to make a little mischief with us. Have a little fun, hmm? Fun by all means. Big fun, at least for some. Are you by chance holding any serious money? Fun is my middle name. Let's go. I'm not silly, you old pea brain. So people do say I'm strange. Not bloody likely here or anywhere else. Such silly creatures shouldn't be allowed to roam these mean streets. I seem to have、uh, um misplaced some gold pieces, and I was um、uh, wondering whether anyone had、uh, turned it in. Well, your strangeness is going to jail for its own protection. I can't cry too much. Water warps wood. Look, Cricket, a wonderful wagon and fine donkeys. I wish I was on it. I can see by your ears that the cliche "Be careful what you wish for" would be wasted. You should be looking for your father. I wish you'd go. Come here, little donkey. I just want to pet you, so scan. Touch me again, you pervert, and I'll kick you into next year. I'll have your skin for a drumhead. I know the reason why, you useless brother of a mule. Is that you, father? Have I found you at last? You have, my boy. There must be worse places to live out our days. I hope you're right. I'll try to be grateful for what we have, each other, and the cricket, of course. <laughs> Run, hide, whine, cry means nothing to me. I do as I please. Must you be so mean, Pinocchio? What goes around comes around. What goes around is this rock. I knew I didn't need a ticket. Hello there, big boy. Up for something cruel, unusual, and very stimulating?、Mm. She's talking about a religious experience, Skinny. Get your tiny mind out of whatever trough it was in. Okay, fine. As long as someone gets hurt. The boy is a psychological wreck, not a criminal. The world blames the victim. Always the simple response: What did he do to deserve? My gold pieces have vanished. I don't know who stole them or how, but everyone will pay for the insult. I like it like that. Return my gold pieces, or I'll hold my breath. Uh, no, 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 no! I'll slay everyone in sight, and those out of sight too. Look there! I've made those silly boys into useful or edible donkeys without even trying.
You keep my fire stoked all winter. Look, everyone, a mad puppet on the loose. Slay the beast! Slay the beast! I'm happy to say that some serious crowd control will be required. Lives may be lost. Finally, Pinocchio, you found the way to the dark side. Oh. <sighs> oh. It was a great struggle to get you here. I'm sharing space with fish guts and rotten body parts because of you? Thanks, Dad! Don't be surly, or I'll make you into a real boy and feed you castor oil. We're here to fulfill my plan. <laughs> oh, Dad, you're beginning to sound very strange. Can we leave, please? Lovely christening, ain't it, dearie? And a fine miss of loot. All the goods and gifts owing to a princess. Not half of what she deserves, you nitwit. A curse on all you biddies for leaving me off the guest list. We thought you was dead or balmy, you silly cow. You haven't been out of your hole in donkey's years. Don't try to reason with me. Here's my gift to the brat. At fifteen, Briar Rose will pierce her hand with a spindle and die. I will be avenged. What are you doing, lady? It's very pretty. I'd like to try it. It's spinning, dear. Quite simple, really. A nap's all very well, my girl, but where am I supposed to sleep? It's not your conversation, dear. I'm just feeling... <laughs> too much wine and too... <laughs> Hedges be damned. I will find this woman and wed her, though she be as old as Methuselah. No, I will find this woman and wed her, though she look like my great granny. I'll take my chances, old fellow. I'll win her hand, or add my rotting corpse to those who have preceded me. <laughs> By my count, this marks the one hundredth anniversary of her sleep. She and the whole court should awake tomorrow. <laughs> yes. All these creatures must be grateful to me for waking them, I suppose. And the princess will love me for it. <laughs> Quite as good-looking as advertised. We'll get married, I suppose. I dreamed you were a better kisser. Bad dream. <clears throat> Perhaps you'd like a moment to freshen up. <clears throat> Briar Rose, though pure and clean, parents good and she their dream. I'll make her dead by age fifteen. They say revenge is a dish best served cold. I'm storing mine on ice. Look at the stupid sign! Get me some Rapunzel now, or you'll never sleep with me again! Promise. To the moon! <coughs> with that harpy at home, no wonder you count your own life cheap. But I will take your daughter, too. No reason she should suffer with that shrew. Come in, dearie. This is the sharp, nasty thing you've been looking for. Oh, yes, Your Majesty. She spins straw into gold. Toss him himself. Best little spinner in the land she is, yes. No one can hold a candle to her. Oh, shut up, you dunce. I'll put her to the test. If she fails, she'll die. Painfully. And you, too, for telling a lie. Stop whining! You are lost. Without my help, you'll be dead before breakfast. Here's a bargain. We make a baby together and you get to live. Never, you hideous misbegotten wretch! Okay, fine. How about you marry the king and I get your first child? Deal! Rapunzel! Rapunzel! Let down your hair! Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. You ungrateful little tramp! Get out! I'll keep your only asset, and you, you, man, you've already seen too much.
Beastly odd-looking brat, ain't he? Well, anyway, hand him over. I'd prefer not to. Well, I'd prefer not to take him, ugly as he is. But I have a reputation to protect. So unless you can guess my name, I'm going to have to take him. Add him to my collection. All who try to earn their fame Fall hard, stay down, fail just the same Oh, a joy to win this game For ample still skin is my name Let's see, you stupid tiny git Is your name Tom? No Dick? No Or Harry? No Your name must be Rumpelstiltskin You sweet devil you enchanted beast, you, you, you daughter of a hellhound! Are you Rapunzel? No! Are you Rapunzel? No! Are you Rapunzel? No! Oh, it's you, Prince, the father of my children. Father, I must leave the shop and find something useful to do with my life. It's a wicked world, my son. But go if you must. Don't try to talk me out of it. Not if my life depended on it. Did you break wind? Whoa! Bye, father! Here, no, Nelly, no, not that way. This nag couldn't find its hind quarters. I'll put a bug in her ear, so to speak. Now giddy up the right way, or I'll take you to the glue factory. Giddy up, I say. I hear a cart driver, but I don't see him. Is it a spirit? No, you don't. The driver's standing in a horse's ear. Now that's passing strange. Hark, little fella, come join our circus. We'll treat you well and you'll make a load of money. Oh boy, a circus. What would I have to do to earn it? Just be you. Sounds easy. It's all fine for you lot. You're more athletic than me. I know. How about we put on a show? I'll be Hamlet and... No offence, Dumbling, but I prefer my Princess of Denmark a bit larger. And juicier, too. OK. But I call first on the wheel next time. Sure, fine. No problem. You'll break it, you clumsy git. Blasted feline. Dumb as the proverbial post. Can't tell a human from a mouse. Do I have a tail, I ask you? Do I have whiskers? You'd prefer she make a snack of one of us? Be grateful you found shelter in our home. Together we could turn you out. Try your argument on her. My apologies. I don't think she would listen to reason. I want out of here. Smells Terrible, and I'm moving toward the intestines. This cow is bewitched. I'll carve her into pieces and make a black pudding from her innards. The butcher's a dolt, but with luck I'll just relax a bit and make my escape in the pudding. Roll up, come close, my friends, for the greatest show on earth. A greatest tiny show. A tiniest great show. Uh, indeed. Marvellous! For your edification and delectation, I present our next thrilling event! For our next event, an entertainment that will leave you breathless! Those with weak hearts avert your eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, how can we top that? You might well ask. Direct your attention to our next event! Let's meet the enemy head on. Father, our trade is dangerous and mean. Please change your ways. This violates the laws of God and man. There's no money in such laws. I'll make my own. You puny bleed not. Father, you nearly crushed me. I was trying to squash a fly. Oh, Father, no. Stay still, Thumbling! You're frightening the fly! Ew, 
What eats like a horse poops like one? Damn nature, this'll be a challenge. I have some gaseous distress in the lower track. <laughs> if I could only fart. Control yourself. I've been shat on. I'd rather not be shat out. Ew, again. Talk about your waxy yellow build-up. Stop! Or you'll be on the next boat to France! Hi, my pretties. Hi, That's good, Bruce. Use your brother as a springboard. There's blood in it. So much for honor among the viciously exploited. I've got to get out of here. Died unappreciated and abused in a defunct flea circus, not what you had in mind for your epitaph? Get in line. You have numbers on your side. With a coordinated plan, you could defeat your enemy. We are not Lilliputians. We are not heroes. Are we not mice? Our duty is to die. Following token and totally ineffectual resistance. Come out now, little mouses. I'm a bit peckish. Let's meet the enemy head on. We'll scratch out his eyes. Mercy, you brute! You nearly separated my fingers from my hand! When a man is happy in his work, the loss of a couple of digits is a trivial price to pay. And if someone is unhappy in his work? He ends up like this pig. This is what life is really like. Not much different than being home with Dad. Except for the Vikings and the epidemic of domain poisoning. Oh, my labor begins. May the child I bear have skin white as snow, cheeks red as blood, and hair black as ebony. Tell the king, doctor, our prayers have been answered. Your daughter is beautiful, highness. Raven black hair, skin as white. She will be called Snow White, doctor. She will be. The most... <laughs> and this is my lovely daughter, Snow White. She's pretty, in a juvenile way. When she's older, I'll schedule a play date with her. Every other Thursday before my manicure. I love children. Now take her away. Oh, Mira, won't you tell me, please? Is there anyone anywhere fair as me? Oh, lovely queen. I will tell you true, there's no one anywhere fair as you. Fairer than you, there is but one. Fairer than Snow White, there is none. Take Snow White deep into the woods and lose her there. But, your majesty, she's the princess royal. She will die alone. Food for wolves and vultures. You're right. That would be cruel. Here's a better idea. You kill her. Now. You dare not disobey me. Princess Snow White, enjoy every day as if it were your last. Not all the creatures here are friendly. Oh, Huntsman, you'll protect me, won't you? I just want to have fun in the forest. Oh, Huntsman, what a big knife you have. I'm sorry. The Queen wants you dead. If I fail, I'll forfeit my own life. Couldn't you just let me loose in the woods? I promise never to return home. Excellent idea. I'll tell her you're dead. Don't make me out a liar. Walk a ways on this path, and you'll find a place where you can rest. Your Majesty, Snow White will never darken your door again. She'll make a charming meal for buzzards and voles. <laughs> Lucky me. There may be something better than not being gutted by a family retainer at a young age, but I can't think of it. Hmm, what's this? Door was open. A virtual invitation. Can't be trespassing. And such a small amount of food and drink won't be missed. Barely a snack. Children must live here. Where are their toys? And parents? Hey, who's been eating my grub? 
Who cares? The food stinks, but someone's moved my chair. Hey, someone's unfolded my napkin. It's the end of civilization as we know it. Forgive me, sirs. I was so tired and hungry. I intruded on your domestic arrangements. I've lost my home and family. I'm like totally lost and everything. Say no more. Keep the place clean, and you can stay here. This dump could use a pretty face. <laughs> I'll do it. I'm sure I'm very grateful. Really? You're the first woman we've seen in three years. Snow White's as pretty as a picture and just as agreeable. Imagine our housemaid is a princess. A perfect compliment to our perfect lives. We're lucky lads. Luckier than her. The queen's a resourceful enemy. I hope she takes your advice. Come on, gents. It's nearly time to go home. Now, someone was out of tune last time, a bit flat, and somebody was whistling. Where's your spirit, guys? Raise your voices. Look, number one, give it a rest. I'm as happy as a clam, really. I'm just tired of singing. Then hum. Oh, Mira, you must avow that I alone am fairest now. Any rival that used to be lies dead beside a distant tree. Oh, lovely queen, I would love to say your matchless beauty rules the day, but I cannot lie. It would not be right. More lovely still is fair Snow White. She lives. That duplicitous and useless huntsman is in for a spiking, and blows about the head and shoulders with a heavy stick. Have you travelled a long way, aged one? A fair distance, but worth the walk, I'm sure. And I had apples for sustenance. Yeah, share this last one with me. It looks delicious, but I'm under orders to take nothing from a stranger. It's not poisonous. Look, you eat the red cheek, and I'll eat the white. White as snow, and soon just as cold and lifeless. <laughs> oh, whoa! She breathes no more. The wicked queen has satisfied her own envious heart and broken ours. We must not put her under the dark ground. No, let her be seen. Let people know her name and that she was a king's daughter. Yo, prince, regard Snow White, <laughs> the most beautiful woman in the world. She used to clean house for us. <laughs> Let me have the coffin. I will give you whatever you want for it. We won't part with it for all the gold in the world. Give it to me as a gift, for I cannot live without seeing Snow White. I will honor her as my dearest possession. Oh heavens! Where am I? You are with me. I must kiss you. I love you more than anything in the world. Come with me to my father's palace. You shall be my wife. Ah! Ah! This will take a few hours, princess. Then we can continue on to our destination. No problem. Take your time. Only the journey matters. Better than your destination. I've had enough. I should have a child soon. The king may know how to make one. She'll be a beautiful girl. A name, doctor. A name. <sighs> one that befits her world and winter birth. Bloody snow made Marion. Pink shaved ice is older. Red frozen custard cake. Cerise Dion. Don't be a cruel twit. Call her Snow White. We'll do without the till death do us part and other nonsense. Shouldn't the Holy Father sanctify our union and give something all thingamajiggy? Ridiculous drivel! I'm wed to darker arts. My acolyte will show you sanctification. You're mine forever. Now, where's the wine? I'm still the one, right? Still the most beautiful. Still the still one. one. Still the most evil.
Still, still on. on. How about now? Still the most beautiful. Still, whoops! I nearly tell a lie. Snow White's more beautiful. You're close, dear, but she's got you by her nose. <coughs> Off with her head! Stop wriggling like a fetal rat. You'll take these signs of my affection and like it. Couldn't you love me a bit less, my dear? And you take that brat away. Cut off her nose and ears and bring me the heart. Leave the rest of her for the carrion eaters and worms. Resistance is useless. Besides, better to die by my hand than be torn apart by hungry wolves. Hmm. Death from a friendly face. So much more preferable. Perhaps I could trade something else. I can be docile. I look dead stunning in little maid's outfit. I'd done some dodgy things, but I never murdered a princess. A man needs standards. How about this? You give me your jewellery and your underwear, and and you never return to the castle. What castle? Never saw it. Never will. Good. I'll just gut a boar and take its heart for the queen. I'll be back for your, eh,、uh, things. Fresh heart, your Majesty. Still warm. There better be some grub in this dump. I'm famished, and I could use a kip. What's that? A whale? A woolly mammoth? A giant? A woman, you dolt! And she's eating our food. Seize her! Bind her! Punish her! Kill her! Hold on. Hey, lady, you stay here and clean up the damage, and nobody gets hurt. Deal? Can I have my own room? Do the cooking, and you can have the key to the outhouse. She's up to something, I'm certain. She patted my head. Doubtful. Not a plotter, and really not very bright. She's got no idea what we're doing down here. <laughs> the little bitch is alive. Before I have your tongue ripped out and your liver flayed like a flank steak. You'll tell me what you've done. Oh no, stepmother! I won't touch that fruit. That fruit is rotten. That fruit is lethal. Ah! Who pledges undying affection and makes love to the dead? There's a name for such characters. It's disgusting. Don't knock it if you haven't tried it. <laughs> I have a riddle. When are the dead not dead? When they're living? Got it in one. It's zombie time. You will be my queen. No, you will be mine. Prince Spawn is required. I'll deal with this soon-to-be ex-royal person. You intend to do your worst. Is there anything I can say or do to change your mind? You could beg, or plead for mercy, or cry, tear your clothes, beat your breast, or rip your flesh, if you wish. But nothing will change my mind, Prince. Are my stepmother's shoes ready? Oh yes, properly formed and warmed. Ah! 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 Then ah! strike up the band. Tell us a story, Dark Man, please. Come on, Mister Grimm, tell us a story. Yay! Story! Yay!